Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. Today we will look into an amazing custom visual known as Word Cloud. Word Cloud is a visual representation of word frequency and value. With the interactive experience of Word Cloud in Power BI, you can simply visualize them as Word Cloud and get the big picture instantly. So, what are we waiting for? Let us get started. Click on three dots in the visualization section and select Get More Visuals. Or we can go to Insert and select More Visuals from the App Source. Once selected all the custom visuals will appear. Search for the word Cloud. And then add this visual to your Power BI desktop. You will see a pop-up of successful import. Click on OK. We can see the visual is added successfully. Select the visual and add the column in the category and in the values to show the count. Excludes will exclude the data from the words. Let us move to customization. In general settings, the minimum number of repetitions to display will help to filter out words based on the count. We can set the max number of words to display. We can increase or decrease the font size by setting the minute font and max font. Enable or disable word breaking as well as the special characters. Customizing the data colors for each word is also possible on top of the default colors. Stop words such as the, a, an, and in can also be removed from the word cloud. We can disable the rotate text for a better view. There is also a property for performance which be enabled or disabled. Now let us move the general customizations. Here we can set the title and customize the font, text color, and size. In effect, we can enable the background color if needed. Finally, we can enable or disable the header icons, which is for more options like exporting data in CSV and more. Let me customize a bit more by enabling the border and shadow for a brighter look of the visual. In this way, we can use the word cloud custom visual in our reports for many use cases often for mining large amounts of text data to determine the number of times certain words are used. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.